So I took a break over the last few weeks and went over some of my older videos. I realized I'd made a mistake. My very first video was titled, What I Learned About Myself Through Throat Cancer. And I realized I never really answered that question. It was an honest mistake, but it was my first video. So I thought I should come out with a video to answer that question. But first, if you're getting something out of my videos, hit that like and subscribe button below and drop a comment to let me know how I'm doing. So what did throat cancer teach me? What did I learn about myself? Number one, I learned I'm not invulnerable. Getting sick, getting a disease, much less getting cancer happened to other people, not to me. Of course, I got, got a cold. I'd get the flu, a headache, stuff like that. But I wasn't going to get cancer. I don't get cancer. Not me. I was definitely wrong about that one. Pay attention to what your body is telling you. I was never one to go to the doctor very often. If I went, it was because I was no kidding sick or injured. It was only over the past several years that I started to really pay attention to myself. I had the beginnings of high blood pressure several years ago, but shrugged it off. The same thing with higher than normal blood sugar. In 2018, I started seeing specialists about these two issues and started medication to reduce both blood pressure and blood sugar. It was only the fact that I had changed my mindset about how I would respond to changes in how I felt, which meant sent me to see a specialist that led me down the road to a cancer diagnosis and ultimately treatment. I think my mindset five or six years ago would have led me more onto the I'll get over it path. At the time, I was 10 foot tall and bulletproof. And I think a lot of us have had that mindset in the past. It takes age, experience, and sometimes a serious event in our life to change that. Number three is be empathetic towards others. I always had sympathy towards somebody who suffered some fatal or near fatal disease, but I never really knew what it meant to that person. I mean, what I would hear or read that a person I knew had a heart attack, a stroke, had cancer, etc. I always felt bad for that person, but I didn't understand the full impact of the problem. And I surely didn't understand what it meant to them and their family. It really took me being diagnosed with throat cancer to begin to understand that this is a no joke fatal disease. This is indeed a horrible treatment process and it can mess up your whole life. Now I understand the toll this and other diseases can take, not only on the person with the disease, but on their family and friends as well. Sometimes being hard headed and stubborn can be a good trait to have. They can also get you into trouble by keeping you from seeking help when you may actually really need that help. In conclusion, number one, you're not invulnerable. It can happen to you. It did happen to me. And I was a huge believer in the that'll never happen to me line of nonsense. And I was wrong. You're not being tough or sucking it up by ignoring health problems. You're just delaying the inevitable and putting a lot more pressure on your body to heal. The worse it gets, the harder the recovery. Number two, take care of yourself and listen to your body. If you don't like what you see, hear, feel, etc., go see someone if you're not satisfied. Get a second opinion. Be your own advocate and lean into it. Be insistent. Be annoying if necessary. I'm not saying be a bully or a pain in the butt, but advocate for yourself. And when necessary, get somebody to advocate for you. Help you get someone to help you out with that. Ultimately, it's your life and your responsibility. Remember, nobody takes care of you better than you. Number three, be empathetic towards others who are having difficulty. Try to understand what they're going through. This is a big one for me. I was never this kind of person, and I'm trying to change that, but it's not easy. These are hard subjects to talk about. It's hard to bring up and uncomfortable to discuss with other people, and I understand that. If you need to talk or have questions or even have suggestions, let me know. I'll do what I can to help. I really hope someone gets something from the, some of these videos I've put out and it leads somebody to getting help they need or gives somebody some comfort or something at the end in knowing what to expect from throat cancer and throat cancer treatment by hearing my story. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.